Greg Mortimer with 5,000 meters in Heusden. Did you ever run before in Heusden? Yeah, I ran in 2003. So a long, seven years ago. Seven years ago. Um, what result did you get in 2003? Uh, about the same as tonight. 13.33, 13.34. So this is the first race I've done in two years. So it's good to come and run somewhere familiar, somewhere good, where the weather's generally pretty good. And that was solid tonight. Did you travel all the way from Australia towards here or were you in... Uh... I went to Flagstaff for four weeks in America prior to coming to Europe and then I've been in Spain for the last week settling in and now coming here to race and then hopefully next week I'll race possibly in Morocco but we'll wait and see. First race in two years, uh, you were injured, what kind of injury was it? Oh, I had Achilles problems. So I had, um, after the Olympics in Beijing in 2008 I decided to stop until they got better and it took nearly two years so... It's been a long, a long road to get back, but tonight was all about getting back into the swing of things and trying to have fun as much as you can running 5, 5K, but that was good. I enjoyed it. I was a bit nervous, but I'll be better off for doing the run. Are you completely pain-free? Yeah, entirely pain-free. It's perfect. And, um, now this 5,000 metres, uh, first race, um, where did it get tough? Second lap. <laughs> I, I haven't done much stuff at, at that pace because obviously with the Achilles you've got to be careful getting on the track so I knew it would be hard. The, the pace was very fast tonight um, so I just hang at the back and, and try to run strong even 64s the whole way and I got a bit tired the last three or four laps but in the end not a bad result. I was hoping to run under 13.30 but that's, look, it's a start so I can't be disappointed. What is your goal for this season? Well, I want to try to force my way onto the Commonwealth Games team for Australia. Um, I've got until August 16 to run reasonably well over 5K, so that'll be the goal. And then, uh, obviously, if I can get in the team, compete well at the Commonwealth Games. So I've still got three or four months to go. So there's enough time. Um, uh, and then in, in, in a few years, well, 2012, we have um, London again. Uh, you are one of the, well, what, let's say, white people who can beat Kenyans. <laughs> not tonight, not tonight. Oh, the, the Africans are amazing athletes, they're fantastic people and they're beautiful runners, so if I can eventually get back to the level I was two years ago or three years ago, I'll be, I'll be wrapped and if that's the case I'll be able to compete at, at the Olympics in London and, and try, to get a, try to get a medal. It's, it's not very easy, it's bloody hard, but I'll be doing my best. Um, when people uh, are injured for quite a time, uh, they enjoy some things when they come back. What's that for you? Well, when I was injured, I was productive. I, I finished my university degree um, back at home in Australia, so I finished that. And, and um, I, I suppose what you miss most about running is, is competing. I don't enjoy the travel. Obviously, from Australia, it's a long way, so I didn't miss that. But I miss seeing all the familiar faces in the warm-up area, and now everybody goes and jogs together and has dinner together and has a beer, and it's pretty relaxed. So you miss that side of it. But to be honest, I quite enjoyed having my break. I needed a, a year or two off, so I think it served me well. What are tonight some surprise faces? Pa say that again. What are tonight some surprise faces on the warm-up field? Oh yeah, a lot of people. Yesterday when I got to the hotel, there were, they, as, you know, where have you been? It's been a couple of years, but hey, it's the same people. There's a couple of new faces. Obviously, Radisha in the 800. He's uh, he's only been around the last two years since I've been away, so he's he's a fantastic athlete. And I watched the 800 tonight, which was brilliant. So you miss that side of it. You miss seeing athletes going out and doing their best, and that's what I plan to do over the next couple of years.